back again. What is good on the internet and in life? I am Long Island 495. I just came back from a doctor's appointment, as evidenced by this. <laughs> had to get a shot in my arm because I haven't had one in about five years. And keeping with the doctor's theme, I think the people at Intercom probably have a fever. And it's probably not something like 99.7 or something like that. It has to be something something in the 100s because this is a format flip or format shift in Kansas City that Intercom is engineering that I just don't get. I've been pe peering over this and going over this uh, for the last 24 hours and it still does not make any sense to me. But the first two shoes are dropped with Intercom. The first one is when uh, is when KGEX 99.7 Gen X Radio flipped to 99.7 The Point. Now there have been you know I think that there's been misleading reporting about this uh, about this format change from a lot of of radio outlets I believe because you know you know people are trying to tell uh, trying to tell us that oh this is a a, a bright AC or a soft adult contemporary format. Look, bro, if you want soft AC, I suggest you turn on your computer and you Google Easy 93.1 in Miami and you'll know exactly what I'm talking about when I mean bright AC. I looked at the playlist. This station is a hot adult contemporary station. I just don't get why media outlets all over the place, media outlets here, media outlets there, media outlets there, media outlets everywhere have been saying this is a, this is a bright adult contemporary station because it's not. It's a hot adult contemporary station and this uh, new 99.7 The Point is going to feature uh, um, a couple of jocks from KUDL 98.1 which I will get to in a little bit. Uh, they'll feature a couple of those uh, a couple of those uh, on-air personalities as uh, they are moving over from 98.1 to 99.7 which is branding itself as today's best music which by the way uh, 997. If you're trying to, if you're trying to be a uh, an adult contemporary station, uh, my my suggestion is you probably don't want to use something like today's best music as a slogan because then you won't get people thinking that it's a uh, that it's a uh, a top 40, which really you're a hot adult contemporary station and a real adult a hot adult contemporary station at that because your playlist does at least span back at least three decades you know 80s 90s and 2000s so I'll give you some credit for that but the story completely changed when the second shoe dropped courtesy of Mark Reynolds when KUDL 98.1 announced that it was flipping formats and that it would about to leave 98.1 this is the part about this story that makes completely no sense. 98.1 KUDL flipping formats, excuse me, that's your last um, adult contemporary outlet in Kansas City and Intercom is now getting rid of it. And according to Radio Insight and their net gnomes, the new format that's going to be on 98.1 is going to be a simulcast of News Talk Radio KMBZ AM currently residing comfortably at 980 AM. Which they are the Sunday flagship of the Kansas City Royals, so I guess Royals games on Sundays will now be heard on 98.1 in addition to 680. Uh, 680, 980, 980. When I get when I get 980, I don't even know if KC even has a 980. But um, but that's what's going on. KUDL 98.1 uh, flipping formats, and it's something that completely makes no sense to me. That's the part that makes no sense to me. You know, if they want to flip Gen X Radio, they can do it all they want. I think they only had a 2-0 in the last book, and uh, and I think they had to get they had to get rid of that thing. But and if they wanted to, you know, go in a hot AC direction with uh, with 99.7, then I can understand that. But the part about KUDL and the fact that KUDL 98.1 is redirecting their listeners, you know, if you're listening to 98.1, you will no longer be able to hear KUDL. Reset your preset to 99.7 The Point, featuring today's best music. Huh? Come again? Featuring today's best music? Okay. Okay, you're going to redirect listeners to a station that features, I don't know, roughly 40% of your playlist. 
that you had over at 98.1. That's what you're redirecting listeners to? Oh yeah, they're, they're, they're really going to be happy when they hear something top 40 related on top of something that could be heard on, on uh, 98.1. Oh yeah, let's see. Oh yeah, okay, they'll play Matchbox 20, okay, they'll play Train, okay, and then they'll play Katy Perry and Bruno Mars. That's a turnoff to AC fans, I think. So, uh, they'll immediately, I think, turn off their station and try and find something else. I mean, if, if they wanted to listen to Top 40, they would turn to Mix, um, The Vibe, or K Joe. They would turn to 93 3, 95 7, or 105.5 if KC listeners really wanted Top 40. So, KUDL, it's totally misleading. When KUDL tells you about these liners, if you're on 98.1, go over to 99.7, it's a big sham job. That's one thing about this that doesn't make sense. Here's another thing that doesn't make, a, that doesn't make any sense. KUDL, the, in the recent books that was just released, the recent February PPMs that, were just, that was just released, does Enicom think that that number actually said 3.2? Because in the February PPMs, KUDL 98.1, the soft rock station, was at a 3.5 in January. In February, it shot up to a 4.2 and its cum increased by somewhere around roughly 80,000. Which it was expected to continue and go up and go up and go up and go up because Wilkes Broadcasting flipped Star 102 to a hot AC. So, KUDL, I'm pretty sure, was probably popping champagne like they won the championship game uh, after Star 102 flipped after they went Christmas, but for some reason, now they flip on top of Star 102 flipping. So, Kansas City has no adult contemporary station, and this seems to be uh, on par with a lot with, a, with what a lot of stations are doing. We saw, we heard what happened in, Sa in St. Louis with 102.5 in Detroit. Clear Channel did a similar thing with uh, WNIC 100.3. They made it fresh 100.3, which, by the way, I think that station is a mess, and I didn't like that format change any more than I like this one. So, if there is no adult contemporary station left to fill the void for KC listeners, who should fill that void? Hmm. I'm thinking... Jack. Yeah, I'm thinking that... 105.1 Jack FM playing what we want. I think Howard Kogan needs to get his behind off of the of the Kansas City radio airwaves. I think 105.1 would do well to flip formats because they're at a 2.9 and I think and that's a cumulus station. That's not CBS. CBS owns most of the Jack stations, but uh, but that's a cumulus and um, I believe that they would do well to flip. But they got a couple of problems. They got that thing over on 101.1 playing classic rock. They also got that thing over on 94.9 playing oldies and classic hits. So here's what here's my suggestion to bring back adult contemporary for Kansas City radio listeners. And by the way, if they were to do that, I'd like to see them bring so, back some personalities from both uh, Star 102 and uh, 98.1. My suggestion is that 101 The Fox, which is also the FM flagship of the Kansas City Chiefs, the flagship of the Kansas City Chiefs, I don't think they have an AM station unless 610 Sports assumes that responsibility, and um, I don't think that they do, considering they're owned by two different companies. <laughs> but anyway, I think 101 The Fox should start to shift into a more mainstream rock um, lean that's harder edged. And in other words, they need to start incorporating some modern rock into their playlist along with the predominantly classic rock uh, um, shift that most mainstream rockers have. I think that it would open up the door for for a 98, or rather for 94.9 to go classic hits for them, or the softer classic hits to be played on 94.9. And on 105.1, they could get rid of Jack FM because that thing is doing nothing, especially against some of even some of its old stations. They're making no money for Cumulus, and they can uh, turn that one into an uh, into an assault uh, adult contemporary outlet along the lines of KCKC and uh, Star 102. I don't know, but the, but the only problem with this is, of course, the uh, the um, the signal. So maybe uh, they would have to move some stations if Cumulus were to were to do that. They would have to move some stations around. Maybe maybe put 94.9 on 105.1 or maybe something like that. I know 101 The Fox ain't moving for for you know what. So it would have to be between 94.9 and uh, 105.1, in my opinion. So those that's what I think needs to happen. And of course, all that's not withstanding with the signal. So what do you think of this? Uh, 94 or excuse me. Um, 
What are you, what's going on? 98.1 KUDL going news talk, a simulcast of 980 with Rush Limbaugh and Glenn Beck and all those guys, and 99.7 Gen X going uh, going hot AC as 99.7 The Point. Have you listened to the station? I'm pretty sure it's on two frequencies in one city. So rate, comment, react, reply, add, and subscribe. I'm just one guy talking about nothing. What do you think about this, Kansas City? You like this? You get the point? Or is this totally pointless? I think it's pointless, but what do you think? Until next time, LI495, see you on the internet somewhere.